But, but it. Check us out at kjagradio.com. Also, Spirit of South York 148.ca. I'm, of course, Jigman Freud, and uh, I temporarily don't know my name right now. Um, we've got uh, <laughs> all sorts of different things coming up. If you're watching us on justin.tv slash Jaguar, I apologize for the technical difficulties. And um, we're, we're getting it going. We're at the District 119. South Main in the Great Salt City of Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, come down here for what is it? Free waffles? Uh, free waffles or waffles or something? I don't know what they do. Is that free waffles? I didn't get a list. Brian, don't give me a list. What? In the morning. In the morning. Free waffles in the morning at the district at uh, 119 uh, South Main in Hutchinson. And uh, apparently, we have our camera crew, and they have their camera crew. And at the end of it. At, at the end of it, we're going to film each other. I don't know what that means. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, and check us out online at jiggyjaguar.com, also kjagradio.com. Follow me on the Twitter, at jiggyjaguar. You don't embrace Twitter. You hate Twitter. You can't stand Twitter. Why is that? It's the waste of time. Uh, I don't care what you're doing all day long. I love Twitter. You guys Twitter? I tweet. Thousand Twitters by the end of the month. I do. Yeah, follow me on Twitter. The second letter. No, second letter. Follow me on Twitter too. So definitely retweet and tweet. I tweet. The second letter. Don't tweet. 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 Don't that's right. <laughs> I love that line. Now um, we're we're broadcasting today also on youtubecom slash Jaguar. Go over there and uh, check out our latest stuff, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. I uh, I interviewed those guys last night out at the McPherson Opera House, and uh, wow, was that fun to get an interview with those guys and, and then the, all the hell I went through. Um, although one thing that I did do that I that I thought was very impressive was uh, their press person had already turned me down for the interview. She was like, "Well, maybe some other time." Yeah. Some kind of crap. <laughs> so I, uh, <laughs> she, she, that email reminded me of all the chicks in high school, wouldn't they? Um, there were a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what is this? Are we are, are, are we gonna have uh, are, 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 are we gonna have this guy in his jeep come in here? Is it gonna be like a monster truck show? I don't know. I shouldn't say these things. I don't know why I'm saying anything. Uh, JiggyJaguar.com is the website. Go over there. Uh, do all the different things that you do when you go over there uh, and and find us. We've got videos. We've got tweets, Facebooks, all these things. And uh, upcoming guests to the world famous Jiggy Jaguar you show include uh, Friday's Waiting, and of course. Uh, your boys and my boys from Catch That Cash, since it be ready. Also, uh, we're going to be talking to the head of the Hutchinson Art uh, Center. Oh, I Mark, let's That's see, what nice. is it? Mark Rasset, I think is that your last name? He kicked me out one day. He kicked you out. Of the I, was art doing, center. I was doing art lessons this summer, and uh, <laughs> we, we got in there and we <laughs> just looked around. Tell the story. And uh, he was asking us what's going on. I was like, I'll just do the set up a little bit and all on top of that. Just check out the art. He was kind of cool for like a couple minutes. And then he kind of went back in his office and thought about it. And he came in and kicked us out. Because I guess... They <laughs> he got kicked out of the art center. Yes, he kicked us out. So we had to go somewhere else and do my like, art lesson. And I guess he thought it was taking money out of his pocket or something. I don't know. That should have been a joyful interview. <laughs> kick kick him out. Out. We'll kick him out of the district. We'll, we'll, we'll have Brian's running up. Oh, yeah. now, <laughs> She's probably taking Now, uh, 148.ca also in Southport, Canada is where we are broadcasting today as well. And our good friends at zeropointradio.com, that's 92.3 FM, 
and AM1670 in Casper, Wyoming. And uh, for more information, just check out jiggyjaguar.com. It's got all the affiliates, all the stuff. And uh, our computer is back, so we might be broadcasting live once again on oh, jiggyjaguar.com. You never know about these things. Uh, so, so, gentlemen, uh, give me a little bit of your background. How, how did you guys get started doing this thing? Yeah, well, uh, sure, I've been doing this ever since I can remember anything. Uh, Shoot, just started off, you know, typical in the basement, you know, one little ragged mic, you know, in there rapping nonstop, living off the of hot fries, quick trick booster boosters, you know. <laughs> hey, it was a you know, killing shit every day. Hey, that is. Hey, that was a life. That ought to be your official sponsor, Rooster Booster. Hey, we, hey if they were shout, hey, shout out to Rooster Booster. You know, <laughs> follow me too. I follow companies and all that on Twitter. Yeah, you know, so. Send us our check too. <laughs> yeah. Send us our check. Rooster Booster. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, just evolved, you know, more and more. That's started getting stuff. a little bit more publicity, whatever, you know. Started taking the craft a little more seriously. You know, started doing shows and, you know, that's what we're at. We're just trying to do major shows. Major shows just kill the stages every day, everywhere. Well, that's cool. Now, uh, oh yeah, we got the we got the got your birthday bash coming up. Yes, indeed. I was looking at so. my I was looking at so. my calendar. Yeah, I was looking at my calendar. birthday bash, and you know, we definitely gonna get it in there. You know, we definitely gonna get it in there. Can you tell about the whole situation? It might not happen. Well, it might happen. It might happen. It might. It might happen. They're gonna. They're thinking about moving to the Eagles Lodge. Here in uh, because we had, we're at the shed the last time. The shed the gunfire. So the cop and the uh, guy that owns the building, like, hey, you guys can't do this shit. So, they're trying wow. to find other places. They had um, as well, I like to call it the fucking slug <laughs> out there at the old uh, at the old shed, as he calls it. And uh, basically, what happened is there was some, of course. If you've ever been to a party or you've ever been to a concert, we always know there's at least one guy who decides he wants to hit a chick. I'm big time, I'm gonna hit a female. And then it's just on. And you see every you see every tough dude, every geek with a freaking pocket protector, every every bold dyke, everybody coming out of that building to get this guy. <laughs> and so they uh <laughs> they they uh, had some issues in the parking lot. It wasn't uh, it wasn't wasn't a good scene. And uh, then uh, somebody decides, of course, always to pull out a gun. That's always a fun one. Yes. And uh, so uh, a tough tough guy decided to pull out a gun, and then it was just. And then uh, the people who were running the show were just like, "You want guns? We got guns too!" And then they come running out. <laughs> And then uh, Mr. Dot Com and a lot of the guys from Wichita were there. They're like, "Hutch, it goes down, Hutch." <laughs> so you know. So we're now moving it probably to the Eagles Lodge. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully we'll get that worked out. Well, but I've uh, got a venue. I've got a venue that's available. Oh. You know, it's in Wichita. It's not here in Hutch, but it's in Wichita. But I do have a venue available. Uh, uh oh. So yeah. Might have to go to Wichita. I am telling. That's and we can get some hey, of the girls. We can get from the girls some Jezebels come over there. And hey, y'all got matter of fact, speaking of Jezebels, you know I got it. <laughs> look at okay. this guy. Hey, look at this. I ain't guy. got no message to come. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got over there. I'm gonna be at you know amateur night you know, tomorrow. So I mean, shit. You got like a stable? Damn. You got a stable? You got a hair? I'm a top two. I'm top two. I'm a pro top two. You know. But I mean, you know, we have to have to talk off the air, whatever. I think we got been using, you know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that doesn't work out, or whatever. Uh, uh, we might have to, out. we might have to get it in, man. Because uh, if if we can get it figured out, man, I I would. Hell, yeah, we, get you, if you can get it figured out, we'll just have you come on that bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh well, 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 which, 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 which day did they put my calendar? Oh, I'm trying to put my calendar in. Second line, see, hey, I come up with a tape. Oh, hey, this is what I do. Good boy music, second letter, Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo, Google. Uh, I love it. I love it. Or you could, uh, now, now, do you guys with, uh, 
I gotta, I gotta talk to the video guy later because I, I was, I was like getting inside the, the, the heads of the video guys because they, they're the ones that uh, kind of make the world go around. They, uh, <laughs> they, 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 they can make you look like a million dollars, or they can make you look like. A, <laughs> and uh, he's also our slash producer. Yeah. He's got the titles. DJ Genie Wing. Good lord. Yes, yeah, really? yeah, that's his drop right there. <laughs> DJ Genie Wing. DJ Genie Wing on the track. I think you know what it is. I thought he said I thought he said Beanie Weenies. I'm sorry. I apologize. Don't slap me. <laughs> if you were yelling, can Mike, Mike. <laughs> DJ Beanie Weenie. I didn't know. That, that would be great. If I had a rap name, that would be my name, DJ Beanie Weenie. I'd get out there. I'd have like a, I'd have like a grill. I'd be cooking up. I'd be like, I'm getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a chance, <laughs> check out these guys on the internet. Now, do you primarily do the Facebook or Twitter, or what, what do you primarily do with your social networking? Social networking, I'm pretty much, you know, if it's anything to do with social networking, I'm all over it. Actually, too, though, if y'all don't know about IndieCastle.com, uh, they moved up with a Coast to Coast mixtape. I got the mixtape coming out, you know, dropping the song on there. It's going to be crazy. The song is loud. The second letter loud. It's going bananas right now, so. No. I like my engine motor lap. My marijuana lap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, uh, <laughs> now uh, today we're broadcasting also from uh, K Rock's radio, as I mentioned earlier. Um, they recently picked up our wrestling show, Road and Ropes. ZeroPointRadio.com is the wow. website, 92.3 FM and AM 1670 in Casper, Wyoming. You know what I always think is funny about the, those guys over there? Is they uh, they absolutely uh, love. Uh, there's a lot of people in Casper, Wyoming that always talk about this show. Shout like, out there's Casper. a lot of people in Casper, hey, Wyoming. The that are second very letter. <laughs> Jump in there, do the plug. Second letter. Hey, get it in, Casper. Hey, get it in. Second letter. Hey, share me with a friend. Facebook like. Share me with a friend. <laughs> oh yeah, the mixtape coming. The mixtape coming out real soon, like in the, within yeah. weeks. It's gonna be up on that tiff, you know that tiff.com, you know, definitely get on there, you know, download it. We went over a thousand downloads on the day it dropped, you know. Might fuck hey, it's gonna be, you know, so you know, just get with us, you know, we definitely trying to do it out there. Yeah, we we'll possibly be holding a Black Friday party too for an album release. That's cool. Yeah, Black Friday is probably gonna be going down, you know. It's not set in stone, but you know, we're still working on it, but Black Friday is it's going down Black Friday, so don't spend all your money on sales, because I'm gonna be at the door and I need my money. <laughs> Your marketing machine, I like that. That's what I do. I, 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 like, I like these guys that, that, that know what the hell they're doing and, they, and they're getting money. Yeah, that's, that's the key right there. If you know got network, you ain't got much. It, it, it's been some of these guys that are out there just like, oh, I got the fake jewelry, man. What's up? Yeah, stunning them, stunning them fake. Hey, that's that bullshit. Yeah, you ain't gonna see no nothing around my neck with these dodge acts to my piece costs like a million. Like serious cash out. But you know you see us out there though, you want real stain, you know you see us out there, y'all flipping that camera around. Another county, right? Now that's that's that three hundred on the twenty sixes, that candy paint. I had to take the camera out there and see how that motherfucking sparkle up there. And you tell you tell me what color it is sitting right here. What color is it? Blue. Blue? Blue? All right, now go outside and then look at it. Go outside, you get, go outside, go look. And walk around we're, one time, you tell me we're going to send that color. We're, 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 we're going to send Cousin Chris out there. <laughs> we, we, we all have the camera guy just follow it. And we'll, put the, go and we'll, put, we'll put this up on YouTube later. <laughs> outside, you take a walk around. Cousin Chris going out. Blue is coming out, you'll walk around and look up and you're going to see when you get back. I love this. Oh, this 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 is this is good stuff. You know the motto, we don't bullshit, we fool, great. You know, we get it in all day. That's what we do. Uh, I love it. 
We, we always we always use Kevin Chris as like our guinea pig for stuff. Yeah. Shots out to Kate too. Oh, we go, we go, we go. Shots out to uh, Sedalia. I told her I was going to send a shout out to her. Yeah. Sedalia, that's my homie. Yo, big shout out. I was oh, totally wrong. Homie out there. Yes, so is that green, green, blue, blue, black, or purple? <laughs> <laughs> I had a hot one like that once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I had a hot one like that once. That's a sick car, man. Yeah, damn. That's so, 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 what, what, what did you think it was when you went out there? I thought it was, I, I thought it was blue from here, and I walked out the door, like, it's green, it's purple. <laughs> it's changing colors off, like a hot or something. <laughs> it's a sick car right there. Yeah, them 26s. 26s. <laughs> not them balls, not them toes, <laughs> not them, them balls. sixes. They said they couldn't fit, we had to do it. Anyway. No, it any, we, adult, we adults out here. I'm not a kid's kid. We adults out here. 26s. <laughs> <laughs> it's a human number. Like, yeah, it's a human number. <laughs> wow, 26s. Now, uh, we are we're on. Justin.tv slash Jiggy Jaguar today. Also, we are also on SRN, the Spirit of South York, at 148.ca. And I want to send a big uh, happy birthday shout out to our buddy Phil Long in uh, the, the, the South York region. I don't know where exactly he is. He's in the South York region of Canada. He is the only Asian guy I think I know in Canada. I think he's the only Asian guy I know, period. No, I know Johnny Kim. We'll talk about him. 